what is going on guys welcome back to the channel so apple subtly this morning just released ios 17.4.1 again as a re-release what's interesting about this is obviously apple did just drop 17.4.1 initially last week but to get another build is one thing but it is not even eligible for an ota update at the time of this video being published the only way you can even go about getting this update is to actually connect it to your iMac or MacBook, MacBook Pro, whatever, and go into Finder and do it the old school way you used to do on iTunes and check for updates that way. Very, very strange. I'm not sure what the reasoning is for this, but yeah, there is a new build number out for this that is literally one digit higher than what it was prior. I don't know what's going on here, why they needed to push this out. To me personally, a lot of people aren't aware or even used to using that method, using a MacBook or a MacBook Pro, like I said, to get this update and actually hardwire it in and pull in that update. That way, everyone is so used to, at this point, software updates that are pushed over the air or OTA, uh, and that they, they didn't do that here. I don't know why. So needless to say, we have 17.4.1 running on our iPhone 15 Pro, the original one was now running on our old Pro Max, and I don't know what's the difference. I'm not thinking it's fair to do a heat comparison here just because of the way we had to do this install. Like I said, you did have to actually hardwire it, so it's going to be charging while updating, and that is not a fair test. And we know, we know how bad Apple does heat disbursement as it is on iPhones. It's trash, so not going to do that on this one. Let's just jump into it, though, and take a look at the build, and I'll kind of show you them side by side. Let's go. So again, on our iPhone here, if we go into settings, general, about, you can see we are on 17.4.1, but the build number here is 21E236. This was the original release of 17.4.1, and then we just updated this iPhone, and as you can see here, we are on 17.4.1, but this build number is 21E237. So, very comparable. Like I said, it's literally one digit open or over this on the latest update. I'm not sure why, again, they felt the need to get this, but if you look right in here under software update, it will not pull it in. It still shows as we're up to date, even though we know there is a newer release that is actually out there. Just kind of scrolling through and jumping around everything. I mean, it is just as smooth as it was before, jumping into stories. Uh, I mean, everything has worked on this version for us. It's working here as well. It's pretty smooth. So I'm not sure why the need for the update will jump around. But yeah, everything is working as anticipated. So if you see in the comments down below any changes, check that section out. If you found any yourself, drop a comment and let us know what changes you have seen in between these two versions, because clearly Apple felt the need to send out this somewhat minimal update, but not push it in its traditional form. So here you go, guys. Not too much in this video. I'll keep it short and sweet. Let us know what you find in those comments down below. Thanks for watching. We'll catch you in the next one. Peace.